Hey guys, I hope you're all well. Right, uh, another session on the RM. It's gonna be an odd job day today, so we've had some parts turn up. So we're gonna get them on. Got a few bits and bobs. Uh, I wanna clean more of the plastics up and start getting them on as well. And um, yeah, it's taking shape. I'm multitasking today. I've got uh, a few things going on. That's the, the video you probably just watched rendering getting ready to put onto the tube. I normally do that in the night, but I was exhausted the other night. <laughs> and uh, my eyelids fell down. I don't know what happened. I got uh, wheel centers here from my friend's van that I've painted. They're ready to go. But yeah, there's all sorts going on. I'm trying to get all these uh, things done before the inevitable next month, the dreaded. Not looking forward to it, really ain't. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, radiator louvers, I've got them, so let's put them on. Blue's just rocked up, ready to help. Let's sort that job out first. I've just fished the old ones out. These are wrong. Hmm. I'm gonna have to check my order. Don't know what's happened there. Hmm. Oh, I wanted to I wanted white ones because we got the white number boards and the white front number board and this would have just been nice with all the white bits so I'm going to check my order on these I'm not going to force them because they're nowhere near I don't know if you can see how much narrow the black ones are yeah they're wrong back in the bag they go that's quite annoying. I wanted to see them on. Right, on with something else. <laughs> right. Hey. Not after a very good start, are we? Okay. New lever. So, where's the old one? Where's the old one? Let's disgrace it. <laughs> We've got a nice standard clutch lever to get rid of that thing yeah I wish it was real gold because I'm getting a right collection of this stuff now that'd be nice there we go just normal lever so much better also, where's my snips? Here, I don't know why I got that uh, cable tie going that way. I quite often baffle myself on some things I do. Let's release that and get it over to the proper side, over there. Right. Where's my socket? Ooh, up there. Let's take that off there a minute so I can just... Let's go about there. That's better. I don't know what it is. Let me get that thing. The, the, the market just seems absolutely flooded with this stuff. You, I don't know if you'll make this out on video, but just the finish, the shaping of this thing is absolutely horrific. And they've had the cheek to put ASV on it. Yeah. It's like they've done this with uh, a dodgy file. The finish is that bad. I don't know if you'll make it out, but it is really rough. Yeah, it seems like in the off-road world, 
this stuff is just everywhere and it's so bad anyway the that that looks that looks much much better right that's the cable on it uh, seems to have come off in the clutch end so i'll sort that out also put that back up got to make one of these because i can't find one of these this is all uh broken and looking pretty rough so i'm going to do one of these in alloy in a bit but that basically it's just a cable retainer whichever way it went that way by the look of it yeah it just keeps all the cables tucked in so we'll make one of them may do it in this video we'll see what time we get there's a lot going on today right i think next we will do the service kit for the rear brake right we've got uh, two seals a new spring new circlip and the rubber boot i'm guessing that just pulls off yeah i don't think there's much up with that spring but we'll change it anyway So we've got to try and do these seals without tearing them on the new ones anyway. Well, off you get. So, one off, one on, so we don't get them mixed up. Let's get a bit of lube on that. I just can't grip it. More big fat clumsy fingers. Here we go. It's going on. I think. Yes. That's it. The other one's going to be even worse. Now I'm covered in grease and can't grip anything. Let's get a little screw on. screwdriver to get that off. It doesn't matter if I damage it getting it off. There we are. Bit of grease around that. How's that supposed to go on there? Mm. That hole in that one seems much bigger. right i've made a thing so that rubber is gonna get over that that big thing with my look just lately i don't want to tear it so i've just had a quick spin round in the lathe made myself a little cone that drops into there the rubber on okay it's in fact let's grease me cone up and this put that in there Get the rubber started. Oh, 
that might allow us to slide it down the taper yes I'm keeping that <laughs> put it somewhere where I'll lose it it's on spring on make sure they're all sitting nice That's nice. Right, what have we got next? Oh, it's all got to go in there with the circlip. take all this back off now get the boot on now that special little knot to retain the bottom of that it'd be easier for me to do that up oh, it's going all right I'll grease that up so it should pop on is that gone on yes that's on Ooh, yes <laughs> sorted all right get all the bits back on Right, got the lock nut on that bit. This is the lock nut for the uh, little claw thing there. I know we still got a bit of gold in there, but the brake arm goes up in there. It should hide that nasty stuff. I'm not going to adjust that all the way up yet until we've got the brakes all ready to bleed and adjust properly that's better That's that ticked off the list. Get the little cover back on and on to the next bit. Right, rolling on to the following day. <laughs> Yesterday was one of them. So my friend turned up for them wheel caps. So we had a catch up and a cup of tea. And then while he was here, I started to do a bit of a job on a ceiling light. I thought, nah. I'm, I know I was going to share some behind the scenes jobs. I thought, no, they're not going to be interested in me messing about with a ceiling light. <laughs> that was uh, some tacky brass colour. And it's now all black. And that was one of them five minute favours that turned into about three hours. Yeah. Silly as it sounds, stripping all that out prepping it all for paint and building it all back together it's quite a big job I must be mad I must be mad if I had a pound for every favour 
I'd probably be riding a Ducati Panigale right now. Anyway, um, back on the RM. I've uh, stripped the plastic. Well, I've got the old graphic off that plastic. I'm going to clean that up, get some petrol, get all that sorted. It looks like it's going to be okay. So I'm going to get that on next. I'll pop the little gear lever on just to see what it looked like. I'm not going to put that all the way on because we could really do with setting that when Sam sits on the bike when it's obviously got its wheels in it's on the floor so it's in the correct position for him with his boots on uh yeah we'll get that panel done and um, what else what else is they I know there's lots of jobs I'm hoping the front brake master cylinder will turn up today that would be good so we can get that on uh, what else ah oh, rear brake lever hmm I don't know what to do about that I've got a look I'm gonna have a quick look on the old internet actually see if there's any standard ones available because we've got this going on again yeah and it's a little bit rough I'm a bit uh, mm, that pin is not nice but oh, I've had a look for the pins all I can find is titanium ones at ridiculous cost so I'm going to have to see what I can do there I will have a quick look actually but in the meantime let's get on with that plastic panel and get that on right that's that had a bit of a clean up it's come up alright actually not bad at all. That's going to have to have a nut on the back. I'm not sure if the frame was threaded and it's torn out, but it's going to be no harm to have a nut on the back, not in a washer. Yeah, I've done. Let's get in there. Okay, I think next we'll make this cable retainer because uh, I showed you before This one is a bit of a mess. So that basically Just goes on the top yoke like that And keeps the cables behind there. Obviously when I've made one of these I'll chop that uh, cable tie off and then let them all relax behind this do we just cut uh, cut a strip straight up the end of this. I know that edge is nice and straight, so something like that. Right, gotta sort my dodgy cutout. Look at that. <laughs> it's terrible. Oh, I'm going to use my little rule as a guide. Obviously, be careful how I file. It's only a cheap out rule, so if I, did, if I do scuff it, it's not going to be the end of the world. Let's have a look at that and see if that's better. Ah, that's straight now. Right, I am going to try and put a bit of a kink in there. Uh, because how it sits on the yoke, if I don't, it'll leave a bit of a gap that the cables could get trapped in. So I'm at least going to close it up enough for the cables not to get trapped. Oh, oh these magnets are useless on this thing. Oop, nearly going the wrong way then. Nearly. do it 
Let's go and have a look. Right, this is four hours later. I nearly forgot I had to take Tracy's car for an MOT. Yeah, four hours out of the day that's took. That's including ordering all the parts for it, sorting all that out because uh, yeah, it failed. It failed and I hate working on cars. Just when you think you're catching up a little bit with jobs, someone else goes and pours a load more onto you that you got to do. I'm, I'm trying to sort of get a bit of a clearing for when, uh, well, you know when. Hey up. Here we have the great crested, lesser spotted Bodie, who's sitting there whimpering because it's pouring down with rain outside. It was dry when he ran up here. Now it's raining, he won't go back outside. Look at him. <laughs> What's up, mate? What's up? Is it too wet for you? And what has to happen here, I have to wrap him up in my coat and take him back down the house. He's now crying at me. He's saying, get your coat and take me back down that house so I don't get my precious little feet wet. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> In a minute. Where was I? Yeah, car repairs now. Uh, and yeah, also before I went, that piece of metal I was working on. That's how long it is now. Well, the other half of it. It snapped. I'm trying to fold it. So I've just done a little bit of a test with heat and it folds fine. I've got a new piece cut, <laughs> ready to start again. I'm not having a very good few weeks, I'm just having some... <laughs> something that keeps going wrong every other day. The big disaster with the Enfield tank, my little trip, a disaster. Anyway, let's try and forget it, it's never happened. Water under the bridge, it's gone. Right, um, when I've wrapped Bodhi up in a coat and put him down the house so he's nice and warm, we're going to get on with this. It's now, I think it's about six o'clock in the evening, but uh, we've got to try and catch up with the day. Come here then. Come on. Yeah, let's see. Yes. Come here. Oh. Oh, dear. You ready? Hey? You ready? Let's go. <sighs> right, that's little princess back in the house. <laughs> Let's try and get some work done. For the life of me, I can't remember what I was uh, trying to explain with this job, so I'll just briefly go over it again. So the mounting points are here and in the center there. But what I've got to do, I can't run it straight off that because it leaves a little bit of a gap and we don't want to pinch any cables we're sliding into that area there so we've sort of got to juggle it in close it off and then juggle it back out or it might even go flat to that we'll see how it goes just so the cables stay in this area here and like i say don't get wedged in there without you realizing and start sort of chafing away and wearing them through as you can see that's able to go up there that's what would probably happen to the cables if we don't close it off a little bit. Oh, that folds nice and easy. do it. So I'm just getting some heat in here now. I've popped the holes in it. Just so I get that little curl on the end. There we go. That'll probably need just trimming off a bit. 
last, it's taking shape. Right, that's all cleaned up. Well, just about. I have uh, rerouted the clutch cable, so it sort of highlighted that I've got that on the wrong side of the tank going under. So I've rerouted that. Obviously, we've yet to put the, the brake line down here as well. But this should retain all that. This bolt, this one here is only temporary because obviously the number board will be going on here as well. It there. that's uh, then cable tied up a bit I know it's not the, an original part but I think it's going to do the job just as good as what the original one would have done if it wasn't broken can't really see it anyway all this is beyond the number board let's just go and grab that actually This is obviously still waiting to be cleaned, which I'm going to do. Yeah, there you go. All my work's hidden. Probably a good job. Right, what's next? Right, I'm going to do it. Oh, cutting it out. The uh, sprocket guard. Yeah. I've left it a while, I know I put a bit of a pop-up thing on the last video saying it's going to be done, it, 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 I think it has. Uh, my main reason behind that is mud, mud, muck, whatever, if he does take this into the mud, at least there's a better chance with all that dispersing away from the sprocket with that hole there. And also cleaning it as well. If it goes around it with a jet wash, you can get all around it and wash all the mud out of that area. I don't think it needs to be massive. So, I'm just going to do some lines. Might need to be a bit bigger than that room. Yeah, needs to, be, needs to be bigger than that. We need to find somewhat narrower. Oh, that'll do it. That's definitely better. I think to start with we'll drill all the corners and see how we go from there then just savagely chomp away at all that centre okay so we've got a lovely little mess going on there but it's a start. So all I'm going to do is basically chomp as much out as I can with the old grinder and then get some fine finishing done with the files.
We're about there. I think that's going to be better. There we go, that's better. Definitely pleased with that now. I'll say there's less chance of mud sort of accumulating in there with that hole there. And it does look a bit better, I think. Definitely. And then that's that all sorted as well. Yeah, it's been a sort of a broken few days trying to work on this with different things getting in the way and interrupting. But we're plodding away, we're still chipping away at it, which is the main thing. Uh, tomorrow, uh, I think I'm going to start rebuilding the forks tomorrow and get them sorted and out of the way and we can get them in. Bit of a shame, the, the gold's a bit of a mess on them, but there's not a lot I can do about that without major, major expense of having that redone. So... I'll clean them up as best as we can. I may get some protective stickers for the forks just to disguise them a little bit and make them look uh, presentable as possible. Anyway, it's uh, I think we're getting on towards 9 o'clock at night, so it's a long day. I'm going to get this video edited. Got the computer there ready to crack on. And then that'll do. Try and get a good rest and crack on with forks tomorrow. Cheers for watching guys, take care.